All right, guys, so we continue from where we stopped in the previous video. What do you get from your clients? I mean, all when, if they reach out to you that they want to write or create a website content, the first thing is maybe, the first thing is an outline of the website content, like a, we call it website content outline. Here is a good example with, all right, this, um, this is an example the clients wanted to create a website content and then the data price of the gig is $115. And then this is the content. This is the outline provided by the client. Uh, this is for a clouding L ministry, Charles ministry website outline. You can see it here. And then this is the outline provided by the client. A dash bow, leave it a blank. Our vision, one small paragraph, get a paragraph based on the on this statement, the vision of the ministry is to see people open the door of their hearts and allow God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to enter their lives while accepting Jesus Christ as a personal Lord, as a personal Savior. Now, this is for a church. Interestingly, I'm not a church girl. <laughs> I don't think I've just stepped church in Lagos for up to a year now. I'm not discouraging going to church. I'm not of your business in reality. But I'm going to try to say, like, at times, you don't have to say, like, oh, I must be a Christian before I can create this. Actually, I would suggest somebody who is familiar with the content of the Bible to create this website and like this. So the client didn't ask even if I was a Christian. Okay, he only asked if I can create a website content for a church. And in, I think I actually know quite in detail what to include when creating a website content for, for churches. All right, so we talk about our missions. So the client even already provided the kind of paragraph that's he wants, he just wants you to recreate it, okay? Maybe use my personal insights and the likes. Then yeah, he did not create anything. Just talk about, write one or two sentences, their values, put God first and love God. Write one to two sentences, integrity and honesty. Write one to two sentences, respect and love. Write one to two sentences, stand up for what is right and don't compromise the word of God. Write one to two sentences, okay? Then they talk about gallery, then write one. Parag once more small paragraph, leave it blank, leave it blank, leave it blank. So now this is an outline. This is a website content outline for a church. It is a US company, a, a US church. Okay. So and then this is the final delivery. All right, based on what the client provided the, the vision of the ministry, good for the boy, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Our vision is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world and inspire people to give their Wow. Her vision is to help the whole world understand the Trinity of God and believe in the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We want to save unbelievers' soul from perishing by bringing them into repentance. We want to help them dictate their life to God, dedicate their life to God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and live the life of a believer who has been redeemed from the penalty of sin and qualified to resurrect with Jesus when the trumpet sound. Remember, it's not only way businesses that use websites. This is a church, and a church is more or less like an organization. So churches have websites, and then each platform have the kind of information that they include. For example, in terms of churches, they include our mission, our values, put God first, integrity, and these are the one sentences that I ask me to include. We spread the God of Jesus, of, we spread the gospel of Christ with love and respect related to everyone with the love of God. I'm actually a pastor, not an actual pastor. So let's go back to the content. So um, there are occasions whereby when your clients reach out to you that they want to create a website content, you can ask for uh, what we call website content outline. So with these, the clients, it's not all the time that the clients will tell you that make this one sentence. It's not the time that the clients will uh, give you even a kind of idea of what to include. It, a website content outline. All right, the, the website content outline or a website outline, don't let me stress on that. Then in occasions, the clients can give you a link to their websites. Okay, especially when the website is ready, most of them they're what we call dummy tests. In case you do not know, dummy tests are 
you must have probably seen it somewhere, this Latin text. Lorem is simply, okay, yeah, thank God they actually have the website. So most websites, when they build a website, they usually use dummy text to or point out which, each aspect of the content. Like for example, now when they are building this website, this particular headline could actually be a dummy text and it can be like a kind of a content that you can just use your own initiative to recreate the headline for it. So when the client sends you the link, your work is just to replace the contents there, each of the contents. And then um, it is important that the content fits into the website design. All right, for example, here that they talk about this, then this content fits into the website design. The word is on the same paragraph, the same number of words. Okay, so if somebody wants to create a website content and then this is their website, all this could be replaced or could be represented with dummy text. So it's my own work to create a fresh content for them, right? So uh, when, when a stick court content, uh, when they were develop, wanted to create their website content, after the developers developed the website, maybe on WordPress or they actually called it, which I do not know and wouldn't stress it on, then um, they will probably have sent a link to the website content creator and who is going to create the website content based on this uh, kind of information. Or they could probably also have sent a, 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 an outline, okay, to let the creator or the content writer or the content uh, the website content writer to know the kind of paragraph, the number of words that they are expecting for each of these services. So it may also be that they want to get right as thin content, all right? But if it is copied and pasted, all right? So let's, for example, let's say maybe when they, if I'm creating a FinTech application, for example, something like CurryWise, let me see if I can compare uh, paste stack and at times, all right, yeah, good. I think I remember gray, gray.co. Great, let's go. I think, and then there's another one. The website has very similar outline. I don't know, maybe it's great. Let's go again. All right, real. let's check. Is it great? Let's go. Yeah, great. Let's go. It's just E. Apology for that. And then I'm forgetting the name of the other one. What was the name of this other thing? Take up. All right, uh, uh, Geek Pay. I've used this to or uh, applicate uh, websites or platform. The uh, how should I say it? Our uh, payment supporting platform is for freelancers. Okay, so and I send it to African companies. So now the point is like there's kind of similarity. Okay, in the two websites that if a client wants to create website content, if they give me grid.co uh, and I create a content based on grid.co outline, they can easily import the content on GeekPay Africa. All right, I'm not saying that they copy each other. I'm just trying to tell you how much of a similarity between the two of them. Now, smart invoice in order to build your uh, employee, then instant concept exchange gets paid by foreign clients and the likes. Send and receive money quickly. All right. Now, the both of us send and receiving. Wow. Geek.pay. Okay. Geekpay.africa. I think of invoice.ng2. So if the company, okay, if they are offering similar services and the outline or the website outline seems similar. They can just simply give you their competition websites or they could have probably copied the content from their competitor and ask you to rewrite it. All right, you can say like, for example, creating invoice then to, to go paper list, they go, say goodbye to paper invoice. Invoice allows you to create beautiful custom invoice on life of free, whatever, whatever. And this one's too, where's their invoice message? Go bother listening, the possibility to get peace, whatever, whatever. Auto bill, 
Okay, this is the one for invoice. Let's give page generate invoice for your mixed clinical assistant can also build your employee using uh, your system. Haven uh Pioneer, Pioneer also offers payment service. So the point is like if they've gotten the information, okay, on uh competition website on some of their competitors, they can ask you to simply rewrite it. So especially when they have similar outline, even their design could be the same thing. Okay, they could have probably replicated the design. Right, that happens a lot. So uh, in that case, you can just use the information that they've given you and then use the, the website content. At times they can give you the screenshots of the website templates. Maybe the website is still in development. The client can give you screenshots and you can find a way to create a website content that fits in that template. All right. Um, when you're creating a website content, it's most aligned with the design, okay, the design template that they are using. And that's why I opened this particular page. All right. Um, this, this is a screenshot. This is not just the end. Let me start with from the beginning, if you can see it. All right, this is the beginning. Of, this is the first screen, screenshots. Okay, so it is, if you are familiar with Amazon, like they sell ebooks, they sell books, and they create the books themselves actually. All my emotional, all my emotions, my tiny temper at cover. This book, this is the book for a uh, book parents and kids are like a raving about. This book is based for age two to six, follows a boy around his day as he accomplishes daily tasks and kind the of likes. So, what they want is like they want to create the content, they want to create the content, content for these pages. All right, and then this is what parents are saying. This is more like a testimony. So the website is still in development. So the client was unable to send the link. All right, the client was unable to send the link. Instead, they web they just generated the screenshots. Now they could have gotten the screenshot from the developer and the like. All right, they could have gotten the uh, link from the developer. So, and also in occasions like I've explained before, they could give you uh, their competition websites and uh, and all you have to do is like, you replicate the entire content that is there. Even if their design is different, they can find a way that they will arrange it. The clients will probably have check this. And the cool thing, cool thing about website what is like, you actually get good payment and then you can, you can work with agencies. All right, for example, the company that owns this website also, okay, is they are into this company is basically into web development. So they are developing a website for a church, and then I more or less work with them as a website content writer. I'm not an active actually. So and then the pay is almost hundred to one twenty dollars. All right, so even like I've written a work on a website that is a record label and everything that I need to write, just like don't just a website that has less than 100 words. The whole content was less than 300 words. But that doesn't mean that my pay is going to be less than more fifty dollars So and I think as of then, I've worked up to 12 gigs all together with the brand. All right, so this so like there is no point and there's nothing I'm trying to pass across that uh when you charge for Western content you don't usually charge for based on what counts you charge on on what you are providing and that is the value that you're opening the websites or the clients okay that you're providing for the clients because it is your content that they are going to use to earn millions of dollars or millions of naira from their clients, okay, from their own customer. So you should not be paid the same amount of money for someone that they will need to create about 500 blog posts, 100 blog posts. But for website content, they're going to create only website, one website, they're going to serve them for maybe one year, two years, depending on the cases or depending on what the case is. Now, the real aspect and what we create the website, this course for, which is like creating outside website content, I guess. I'm not sure maybe I should stop this and yeah, I will just went to theory. So the third aspect is going to be based on major on creating website content. Like uh, you may want to think like how does the guy that claim that he doesn't go to church manage to create a website content for a church? 
I'll show you know about the church. That you get it, baby. That one is my personal business. But the point is like, even when I do not know about the service offering, I don't usually take gifts that I don't know the offering, the services. But institution will be a death of doings. That has happened actually when I started freelancing. What I do is some of the things that we are going to explain in the next video.